I love Halloween because I, I mean, I don't actually love Halloween, but I love all the candy that's everywhere. Mm. I'd like to tell you a little story about how I want to love the Apple Watch, but because of Apple's engineering, it doesn't work on my body. You see, if you have tattoos on your wrist, the Apple Watch more than likely will not work. Whatever the sensors are, the oxygen sensors, or whatever it needs to read to know with wrist detection and passcode that it is on your wrist. Simply put, the watch cannot read through tattoos. Okay, passcode, so it's unlocked now. So I'll just drop my wrist, I'll come right back, and now it's locked. See that? It needs passcode. So I did, no I did absolutely nothing. Unlocked. Locked. And I did, I did nothing. I did nothing. So you grab it. Put it on your wrist. Okay, put in my passcode since I told you what it was. Okay, so it's unlocked right now on Gabriel's wrist. Drop your wrist down. Come back. Still unlocked. Drop it down again. Still unlocked. Ah. Oh. Doesn't work, works. You have an Apple Watch on your wrist? Yes. You have tattoos on your wrist? Yes. Does it work with passcode or Apple Pay? Yeah. It does? Yeah. So it sits right in this region? Yeah, like right where the oh, circle okay. is right Okay, so here. like the sensor just barely misses this huge leaf. So it works with every single app? Yeah, every single app except for the activity fitness app. What happens? Uh, it just keeps pausing every 30 seconds. Yeah, then you have to start your workout again. Yeah. Yes. Does anything work on this? Nothing happens. Nothing? Nothing happens. It's just the time. It's never gonna happen. <laughs> it's, it's never gonna be able to read my blood. It's just never. the time. It's just the time. So I went down a bit of a Reddit hole. Well, I'll be honest. My cousin went down a Reddit hole for me because he's good at finding solutions to this stuff. Cheers, Matt. And what he found was a guy that had blacked out his arm that found a fix for an Apple Watch not working on your wrist if you are tattooed. This would-be pack of stickers is supposed to fix an Apple Watch not working. A sticker from Amazon. What is this worth? Cents? Actual cents? You place it over the Apple Watch sensor. But now, no matter what I do, unlocked, it goes down, I move it around, I come back, still unlocked. Fixed. It still charges with the sticker over the sensor. That's cool. Now my thoughts on this new Apple Watch Ultra. I'm coming from a place where I've never liked Apple Watches. I've tried them, I wore one for like two years. I've just had a Series 7. I couldn't even get through a month. But there was something about the Ultra Watch that just looked different. It looked better. Maybe it's the flat screen, the chunkier profile, but whatever it is, it worked better. Battery life is insane. And now I can properly test this watch out and make a good proper review because now it actually works. Time for a quick little story time here. That building was my very first office away from home. That was it. I got the keys, the stairs all the way up to the second floor is where Peter McKinnon got to build his very first studio. Where is it? Right, right there. I spent so much time learning After Effects in that window. After specifically, I spent so much time trying to be a motion graphic designer right there. This was my second office on Main Street. Second ever office shared with Maddie. I was gonna go inside, but he's he's feeling sick today, so you're only gonna get the door. Blame Maddie. 
Okay, so the two differences between these offices is when I was working at this one upstairs, I was still learning motion graphics, I was still doing motion graphics, I was making tutorials about motion graphics, but I was using the time that I should have been spending making videos trying to learn a software I did not like. Now that's why I hired an editor and then that Kirk started doing those motion graphics for me so I didn't have to. But what if you don't want to hire an editor? What if you don't have time to spend to try to learn motion graphics? If it's just one quick facet of a video that you just need to get done. And this is my third office on Main Street. Probably the one I'm most excited about. Now from here, you can see all three of my offices. Past, present, and I guess future. There's the first, there's the second, this is the third. And why do I come up to the roof so much to film videos? It's because renovations are so loud. This is literally the only place. This is the only place where I can get some peace and quiet. This looks like a good tripod. All of that to say, more than 10 years ago, when I was making videos full-time, professionally, for my career, it was not as easy to do what you can do today. This is all a big elaborate setup for today's sponsor, which is Motion Array. See, because you don't have to waste time trying to learn a software you've no interest in anymore. You can make titles for your videos instantly. That time is saved, so you can get back out doing the things that you love, making the things that you love, while also making your videos better without having to do 10 years of work to learn the software. That is an invaluable tool as a filmmaker, as a creator, as someone that makes content. It's a one-stop shop for all of your video making assets. Easy to use templates that let you make titles like this easy. Kind of like a whole no skill required. It's 24 bucks a month or it's 250 a year. Now if you sign up through the link in my description, you save an extra 50 bucks. So that 250 goes to 199. So 200 bucks gets you everything for the whole year. I should also point out it's not just motion graphics. They've got stock footage, they've got audio. It is the entire toolkit. You really gotta just browse the site to believe me. Thanks again, Motion Ray, for sponsoring this video. Still working. Also, quick side note, I did get a new R5, I did update the firmware, and it still seems to wobble when I'm holding it with this Mantis pod. I'm gonna figure this out. I'm, I'm gonna figure it out.